on Trust Me I'm a Doctor, we like to investigate the things that you're interested in. So recently we did a poll and high up was how can I avoid heart disease. Now this is a subject that is dear to my own heart because I know that I'm at high risk. So I decided to take part in a big experiment we're doing here in London. More of that later, but first, Dr. Chris Van Tullican is on a different mission. I want to investigate the products on our shelves that are sold on the promise of improving our health. How do we know we're not just wasting our money? And there's perhaps no area where the marketing is more intense than personal hygiene. The soap, bath and shower products market in the UK last year was worth a staggering one and a half billion pounds. But do we really need them or are we wasting our money? Pretty much everyone in this country uses soap or shampoo regularly in one form or another. These days, many of us, two or three times a day, strip the oils and the greases from our skin with products like this, with shampoos and with shower gels. And then we get out of our baths and our showers and we use these products, moisturising creams, to replace those oils and greases. So is it just a never-ending cycle of illogicality or could it actually be bad for us? What's your kind of post-bath or shower routine? Body lotion. So don't you think it's weird that you wash all the oils and grease off your skin and then you put oils and grease back on your skin afterwards? Yeah, it is. Why are we washing it off to put it all back, back on? In again. So I'm going to investigate the two parts of our washing cycle. First, the scrub. Now, most of the products we use to take the grease and oils off our body contain detergents. So what I want to know is, are these chemicals doing us any good? I'm determined to find out, with some help from experts at the University of Bath. So Sarah, there's an ingredient I've noticed that seems to be second or third on the list, this sodium laurel sulfate. Now I use this in the lab and we're quite cautious about using it. It's quite a strong irritant, so what is it doing in my shampoo? The reason that it's in all these products is that it's very good at helping oil mix with water. That's how you can clean your hair and your body. But it is quite an aggressive irritant, as you say. Yeah. So prolonged use or prolonged exposure to SLS can damage your skin. SLS is used in soaps and body washes as well as shampoo. And to find out just how damaging it is, I'm going to leave dilute SLS on my skin.